Welcome to, here are some tips about tooltips. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, in Business Central, we have something called tooltips. And tooltips are actually, I think it's actually one of the very best ways for a developer to let your uh, users know how to operate the software. A very dedicated instruction on a specific field. This is what you do with this field um, right when the user is on the field. Um, and I actually think this is utilized, underutilized a lot. Um, I try to add more and more tooltips to, to my apps. Uh, and I, I, I just think it's, it's, a, it's a very good way to uh, to actually help the user. And with 20, BC24, we have just an extra dimension to tooltips now. But let, let me let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So here is customer ledger entries. I'm actually not sure why I clicked on this. And this is a list form. So if you mouse over something, you don't really get anything useful here on the list. But if you mouse over um, the caption, you see now we get a tip, uh, and and some of them are, you see this one is good, department code specified the code for global dimension that is linked to record for or entry for analysis purposes. Two global dimension typically for the company's most important activities are available on all uh, cards, document, reports, and list. And we can go and get the help on this and and so on. Then we have the lists. Uh, helpful tool tips um, specifies the entries document number well I kind of know that because the, you know the field is called uh, document number uh, and uh, so, so so some of these are more like a placeholder text than anything else um, but let's go to a um, Let's go to, to a customer card. So here we have something. I think there's actually some customizations in here. Let me know in the comments below if you spot the customization. Um, blog, specify which transaction with the customer that cannot be processed for example, because the customer is insolvent. That's pretty good. Uh, create a limit, specify the maximum amount you allow to allow the customer to exceed the payment balance before warnings are issued. Um, so so tooltips, this name will appear on all sales documents for the customer. It's great, great information, great help. Uh, and and if, if you're somewhere in, you know, in the deep, uh, the general business posting group specified the customer trade type to link transaction made for this customer with the appropriate, appropriate general ledger accounting according to the general posting setup. Uh, I think something like this could also help with a, a, let's see if I'm able to hit the show link before it goes away. So, now showing in this case does just go to the customer details um, and, and and we could, I don't have Copilot in, in, in this one, but we, we could then actually find the, the learn article on, on posting groups, um, which potentially could be cool if we uh, we had the link. Anyway, these are tooltips. So, so how do we create tooltips? Well, here is here is a Visual Studio Code. Let me actually make it big enough. So let's create a new table. I'll use the wizard here. Uh, so we will call this Test Tooltips. Uh, we would want a uh, uh, let's call it. We'll create a code that is called Code. That is a very meta. Uh, name is a text 100 and, and then we will do credit limit which is a decimal 
I think that is a great, great, great. Um, did I make it so big so I can't? So behind myself is the finish. I click finish. So here's a table. Awesome. Uh, so let's also create a page for this one. Uh, and think it will just go with card page. So we'll use the wizard again to create a page. Uh, test tool tips card. Test tool tips. It's not table. This is card general general. Create tool tips. Ah. So I'll insert the code, the name, and the credit limit. Finish. So now we got that this is so so this for those who don't know this um let me just explain myself the i use the al file with from a set al dev uh tool i i there's I, I got a couple of videos on this one um but we got some tool tips here uh so let's uh Let's uh, look at this. So here I could say specify again, specify the value of the code field, specify the value of the name field, specify the value of the credit limit field. So I I consider this, and 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 this is what Microsoft does, but but it's it's kind of uh, well I question if if we are taking the users serious if we on a field called code. Have a tooltip saying this is the field called code. Uh, I think I think we can do better. I think we have to aim higher. So we, this could be um, the the code is a unique value that identifies the customer. Um, do not use weird characters. Uh, maybe uh, uh, typically, uh, no, let's go, do, go with best case is to only use numbers and letters in this field. And the name instead of this, just the uh, uh, specify the name of the the customer. This should be the the legal name, not uh, not the uh, not a public I don't know what I'm saying here I, I should have thought about that I mean not not a not a public common name uh, please include uh, company um, definition like Inc LLC whatever and credit limit um, the credit limit uh, specifies how much this customer can owe us before we stop taking new orders from them uh, the credit limit is defined by uh, Peter in 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 finance based on our entire exposure uh, something 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 right so now now it, it's not very generic app ish now now i i went another way um so let's just go to our launch json and 
say that we want to start with page 5100. So I hit a five, I deploy, and let's see how fast that goes. That goes pretty fast. That was good. I need to log in. So uh, here is the thing. I will add a new one. I have my my nice tooltips number ten. Peter, a thousand. Right, that's just nice. Um, the challenge come, and this is the change that that happens in uh, that happened in BC twenty four, or Business Central twenty twenty four wave one, is that you can. So right now you see we have specified the tooltips on the page, which in a lot of cases is the right thing to do, because you might specify use you might use the same field on different pages and the field will have slightly different purpose or meaning so in on one page you have to specify a tooltip that fits into the concept of the page and on another page you might want the tooltips to be something else but with bc24 what we can do is that we can if we remove this from code then we go back to the table and now we add this tooltip on the table instead of the page so we have now we have two tooltips on this page one on the table so i'll run this again and you can see we have the exact same result but if we now created a new page with code on it or let's say perhaps we do need a list right uh, so so we, we will add a list form now. So we go and, and create a page here. Uh, tool tip list. And this is this is tool come on. Tool tip. We create a list. Um, and we say no tooltips here. Admin application area code name credit limit finish so no tooltips on this page and i change let's name okay we'll make two changes we will change so we start up on the next one and then we will on the list specify that the card page id is tooltip card So we run this again, we publish, boom, we're published. And now we have a list. And on the list, we also have our tooltip. Uh, we don't have tooltips on name or credit limit um, because they were sitting on the page. So what happens if we then on the page so let, let's let's do one more thing. So now we go back to the cart. And add a tooltip here. So only use numbers. On the cart. I, I guess you, you already have guessed what's happening. So here we have the code is unique, blah, blah, blah. We go into the cart. And here we have, so, so a tooltip on a page overrides the tooltip on a table. So you have the option to say, okay, let's give everything a generic, uh, a generic tooltip on the table. And then in those special cases where you want to add something or add is the wrong word here because you are you you are, you want to replace the generic tooltip you have on the table with a specific tooltip on the page. We're not adding it so there's like two. We're replacing 
uh, overriding or whatever word you want to use. So that's tool tips. Uh, again, as I, as, as I started by saying, I think this is most excellent, sorry, movie reference, um, way of helping your users, especially if you have, you know, feels that, that it's slightly complicated what goes into it. You just you know, put in a story in the tooltip uh, and, and, and make it, make it nice, make it, uh, make it help your users. Um, I got some 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 feels around in some of my apps where you can you can put a percent one percent two like there's some st substitute uh, things so so there are other values that you can insert so you create a document title but if you put a percent one in it it will add a date stamp in, in the document title that's stuff going on in the SharePoint connector that works that way uh, and. The tooltip is a perfect place to show the user, hey, in this part, you can, uh, you, you, there's, there's some tricks, right? Uh, without having to find a document or web page or whatever. So it's right there at your fingertips is the tooltips. Anyway, go check out this video. There's more ale hacking going on here and uh, I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.